All right, today we're going to be building part five, which is the wheel on the train project. And I've got the blueprints up so you can kind of see what we're doing here. We're going to make this cross section area and make sure that we're dimensioning off of the center axis here. Um, so as I build the part, it doesn't really matter what plane you start on, but just make sure that you're dimensioning everything from this datum coming out um, to the other parts. So i go ahead and start a sketch. We'll just put it right here. We're going to put a line through the center. And then we're going to start dimensioning out. And what I'm going to do is actually just build this, a likeness of this part, but it's going to be squared off. And then we can go in and fill it uh, once you get it made. So we're going to come out here. up to there. All right, so dimensioning from here to here. Now this is the actual hole that the axle will go through, so we need to find that dimension, which is 0.14. And I know that because if you go to the bottom view, it shows you 0.28 as the diameter of the center hole. All right, so everything else we're going to be doing is based off of this top view now. So the next is 0.25 to this one is 0.75, and then to the center out here at the end of the wheel is one. All right, so we're going to go from here to here. 0.25. From here to here. 0.75. From here to here is one. All right, and then we need to put, we need to round off the edge of this. So I'm just, you could use an arc. I'm just going to use a circle. Then you can trim this off, although it's not necessary. It'll revolve even with that in there. All right, so we need to get the thickness of the wheel, and that's going to be 0.25. And I'm getting those from this dimension right here. And then so the thickness, half of it's going to be 0.125, obviously. All right. Then I think that is most of the dimensions that we need. So we're going to revolve it. That. Then we need the axis, which is here. And we can flip it up. All right, that looks good. Uh, if you don't like the orientation, um, you can flip this up. Go to here. Actually, let's do this one. That looks good. And then change that. Set current view to home, fit to view. And then you can change this current view to front. So now when you go home, everything's in the proper orientation. It doesn't actually change your original orientation down here with the X, Y, and the Z axis, but for all practical purposes, it does what we need to do. All right, the next thing is we need to cut out uh, these sections in the hole and then put this in there, the little peg that's going to be used for the linkage arm. Um, it's always a little bit confusing here. Um, these dimensions are given as a radius. Um, and then you can see the radius here. And then they start off 15 degrees up. And then it's 30 degrees in between the cuts there. So I'm just going to create on this front face plane, then hit F7 so that it removes all the other lines. Uh, also, if you're creating lines, you can actually click this button up here or you can just drag straight up and it'll create a line for you. So I'm going to go here. Then I'm actually going to lock that so that that line doesn't move on us. Oftentimes it won't if you start at the origin, but it's just good safety protocol. We're going to come up here. Very good. We're going to go here. And now let's dimension these from here to here was 15 degrees. Here to here is 30. All right. And now we need to get the cuts here. And you could do that with an arc. If you want to use a center point arc, you can definitely do that. Go here to here. And then you can come in and dimension. And I believe that is the inside one is 0.375. Right. 
also want to show you that you could do this with a circle. We're going to come out to here in dimension. And this one, I believe, uh, is going to be 1.25. Should double that. Okay, and then if you do the circle, obviously, then you need to trim out this part. We can trim out all these. All right, oops, I trimmed one too far. There we go. I think we can probably extrude it the way it is. Yeah, so it doesn't like that, that one sketch there. So let's clean that line up. Sometimes what will happen is you don't get a connection here. That one looks good. Let's see if this one's connected. Yep, all those look like they're good now. The other way you can see that is when I went to trim it. Yep, you should have noticed that it wasn't trimming properly. All right, again, it's the best to go to. All right. What I would do here is select through all for your distance, and then if you ever change the thickness of that wheel, it's going to adjust. All right, so that's done. Now all we have to do is do a rotational pattern. Okay. All right, so you're looking good. The only thing I've not done is fillet this. So you need to fillet this 0 0.0625 for this edge and these as well. Uh, this one's already done at 0.125. Alright, so here we go. We got a pair of the fillet tool. 0.0625. Good. And we're going to do this one as well. This one. And this one. And apply. And then it's kind of smooth. It off looks nice. Last thing you need to do is put the peg on here, and I'm just going to do part of it. Um, the peg is located 0 .0, 0 0.7 from the center and then the outside this diameter of the initial peg is 0 0.25 it comes out 0 0.375 so um, let's just put a circle out here somewhere dimension that 0 0.25 okay and then we need to dimension from the center and that was 0.7. All right, and if you notice, it puts it into the wheel, and that's fine. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right. Now we're going to extrude it. 0.375. And there you go. All right, hope that's helpful for you.